I know, you clicked it. Free nitrogen for life? How is that even possible? How could I do that for you? Well, that's easy. You know how they say April showers bring May flowers? What does that even mean? Well, I'll tell you. Free nitrogen for your lawn. So I'm supposed to be sitting in front of a thunderstorm behind me, but it fizzled out. So we're gonna pretend it's still there. This is where we're gonna get our free nitrogen, rainfall. And how does that work? Well, you see, 78% of our atmosphere is made out of nitrogen. However, the rest of the planet has very little nitrogen. So thus we have the nitrogen cycle where atmospheric nitrogen comes down into our soil system, interacts with our ecology, and thus we have life. Well, that's one component of it. It's a pretty important one. So how does that work? Two nitrogens in two is an incredibly stable bond, all right? So in order to break that bond, we need to have a large amount of energy. And thunderstorm behind me has lightning. And lightning has enough energy to break those bonds. And what happens is the bond breaks and then it interacts with oxygen and creates ammonium and nitrates which are available to our plants once they hit the ground and interact. So that's where we get our free nitrogen. The University of Michigan Extension Office did a two-year study where they found out that between eight to 12 pounds of nitrogen per acre per year come from rainfall. That's a lot of nitrogen, don't you think? So you're probably wondering, what does this have to do with anything and why am I telling you that? It's simple, because buying and applying fertilizers is not the end-all to be-all for a great-looking lawn. In my opinion, it starts with soil. Soil makes a great lawn. So in Ohio, our soil temperatures are hitting around 50, 55, and above slightly on certain days. So we're well into the growing season. My lawn is completely green for the most part, starting to grow a little bit. I'm sure the root system is developing. I've been applying humic acids. Other than applying for MPK fertilizers, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, there's a lot of other things you can add to your lawn that's gonna give you a really great lawn, like soil conditioners, humic acid, liquid aerators, biostimulants, and micronutrients, as well as other good practices like mowing your lawn regularly. This is going to be way more beneficial for your lawn. And that's because a great lawn, like I said, starts with great soil. So if you're interested in things like soil conditioners, like humic acid, you can go ahead and check out last week's video over, over here. So next week, we're gonna be discussing micronutrients and liquid aeration. So go ahead and head over to that subscribe button, hit it, and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.